Hey, yo, what's cracking? This the one and only Dr. Seco Suave from the University of Ain't Shit University. Only nigga you know with a PhD in Hoology and Asthmatology. I'm coming at y'all with another Bro Talks today. This is Bro Talks EP5. I'm gonna help y'all niggas lose y'all virginity or get some more pussy, bro. This is some tips on when you, like, you know, you getting in with a bitch. Starting from the slime slide test when, you know, you got a test, you got to finger her and, you know, wipe your nose and shit, the slime slide test. Also, I got some playlists in the description for y'all so y'all can get that vibe going with a bitch. Make sure you click the links in the description. I got y'all. Uh, what else I got for y'all? I'm just helping y'all niggas out with tips and shit, bro. So uh, make sure you always, like, I don't care if you got the bitch ass naked, bro. And she, like, she's naked in your fucking room. You got to ask for consent, bro. You know, we kings out here. We can't be throwing our life away because, you know, some bitches, they, you got to get that consent first. You got to, you know, ask for permission to eat because, you know, community. I mean, it's just good to know, bro. You don't want to risk anything like that. Make sure you got them rubbers on you. Uh, what else? Make sure you know you you when you fucking her, you want to be talking to her. But don't be in her ear like, oh, yeah, baby, you want to fuck me? Yeah, come over here and suck my cock, you little whore. Don't be talking like that and shit, bro. Just be smooth with the shit. Uh, what else I got for y'all niggas? This, uh, I told y'all niggas how to eat the pussy at the end of the video. In case y'all niggas trying to eat some pussy, I told y'all some tips on, like, you know, what to do and all that shit. But uh, who else gonna tell you this shit? Your dad gonna tell you this shit? Hell no. Nah. Your lame ass? Who, who you gonna ask your lame ass brother? Hell no. Nah. You gonna come to me? Seco Suave, Seco Hendrix, the nigga, that, the man with the plan. I got y'all niggas. If y'all niggas got questions, y'all can DM me and I'll answer your question. I'm gonna put them in the video, but I'm gonna, you know, cover your name up and shit. Cause somebody might have the same question. But uh, without further ado, about to get into this shit. Gang, enjoy. Alright, bro. So this is how we finna get this shit going. This shit is not only for the virgins, but it's for the niggas that still getting pussy. But you, we all know when you fucking with a new bitch and like you trying to get in them draws, how it could be. Able, you, you don't want to, you know. You may, you may be trying to approach it different. So what I'm gonna say is, for all y'all niggas, this goes for everybody. Play fight, start play fighting, bro. You can ask 99. You can ask every nigga you know, and 90, 95 percent of the chance he gonna say he got some pussy by starting out with play fighting. Play fighting is what really gets that shit going. I, I think play fighting is a part of foreplay. If you fucking with a bitch and you don't really like, you ain't really never did anything with her, start play fighting, bro. Y'all might get some shit popping with that. You do know what I'm saying? So now, you also want to, this is what you also want to start doing, bro. You got to stop running your fucking mouth, dog. Ain't no bitch from the fuck if you run your fucking mouth. Ass. That's the most irritating thing, bro, for, for a girl. Like, if you, because I don't even, not even for just a girl, but I hate when people tell my business. Like, I hate, like, if I fuck with a bitch and like she'll go to her friends and be like, oh, this nigga, he fucked me blind. Like now everybody knows like, bro, like stop, bro. Don't be out here running your mouth. If you hang with niggas that run their mouth, most likely a bitch not going to fuck with you because she feels like if they run their mouth, you run your mouth too. Ain't no bitch finna open her legs for if you run your fucking mouth, dog. And that's a bean. That, that's a bean. Next, you got to be humble, bro. And when I say be humble, I mean... If you about to fuck a bitch, like, y'all already disgusted, disgusted, don't be saying, oh, I'm finna tear your shit up. I'm finna fuck you up. Don't be doing all that shit, bruh. Because, look, it's going to be time for you to get in the game, and you're going to sell like Kyle Lowry. You're going to sell. You're going to be, you know, you're going to be like, oh, I'm about to kill this shit. I'm about to have you limping. I'm about to have you uh, sore as fuck, all that. I'm about to pull your tracks out, all that, beat your back out. Bro, don't say nothing, bro. Just be a humble beast. Just be quiet. Do all your talking in the game. Trust me, bruh. Trust me, bro. Don't don't be talking all that shit before you even get in the pussy because by the time you get in the pussy, you might have that anxiety and now you thinking in your head like, oh, I really got little to what I was saying, and then you by the time you trying to put that dick in, nigga, you might get limp dick because you might you might have a little anxiety attack, bro. Don't be talking that shit before you get in that pussy. You gotta be humble. You only talk shit when you in the pussy. When you really killing her shit, that's when you talk that shit because that shit turn them on, bro. You gotta talk to the bitch when when you fucking at the same time because that shit gonna get her even more wet, bro. I'm trying to tell you now. This is for before you, this is even if you about to meet up with a girl, because you never know, she might be feeling mad horny, she's trying to suck your dick or some shit, or, you know, she's trying to jerk you off or some shit, you don't want to have swamp dick, so what I, this, 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 this is what I'm going to tell you, this is what I do, and it never failed me, I got this shit from my mom, so she always told me, you know, make sure you keep your pubes trimmed, I got me like a little, uh, some clippers, like, like, you know, some clippers or whatever, a handheld clipper set, whatever that shit is, now you got to trim your shits, right, so when you keep your shits trimmed, that keeps the odor out, so you don't have no swamp dick. Now, when you take a shower, you want to take you like a regular shower, hit you with your regular body wash and all that shit. Now, you want to rinse that shit off. 
Now what you want to do is you want to get you some apple cider vinegar, my nigga. You want to put it in the rag. You want to wipe. You want you know you want to clean your balls, your dick, your ass under your you know your under your uh your you know right in between your balls and your ass crack. You know under there. You know reach under there and shit. Then you want to rinse that shit out. Then you want to hit it with some unscented soap. I like Dove, my nigga. I like using Dove extra love. So then after I rinse that shit, I'll hit it with Dove. Then I'm out. You don't want to have swamp dick, bro. I promise. If you don't believe me? Try it, and then when you when your shit dry off, you know, swab your swab your balls and smell shit. Watch that shit smell like nothing. It's gonna be smelling natural, bro. It's not gonna be smell. It's not, it's not gonna have a smell. I'm telling you, you don't want to have no swamp dick when you about to fuck with a bitch, cause she probably gonna be like, this nigga dirty as fuck. Nah, she ain't gonna probably. It's, she is gonna think you dirty as fuck, bro. Next, this is for the niggas that be having like that little anxiety and shit before uh you know you getting some pussy. Drink you some ginger tea, my nigga. That's like a natural Viagra. I'm not gonna hold you. Look, if you don't believe me, drink some Vi drink some uh, ginger tea tonight, and then watch how you feel when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> if you if you go know insane, watch how you feel. Drink some ginger tea. I like drinking green tea and ginger tea, my nigga. Just I like drinking that shit with no sugar, no lemon juice, no honey, just straight up. Yeah, I've been doing that shit like every day for like a month now. Uh, what else? All right, so if you a virgin, this probably don't apply to you because you trying to you know you trying to get that nut. But uh, if you experienced and you fuck, say you fucking with a new bitch, never show her all your tricks, okay? Never show her all your tricks. You know, do a little some some so it's like you can so she can know. Oh, okay, he experienced, but don't show her all your tricks. Trust me. Next time y'all meet up, go crazy. Or you want to gradually build your way back. So make it better a little bit by a little bit, okay? So you don't want to go hard the first time because then it's like she looking forward to the next and she want that shit to be better. It's like, nigga, what else you bringing? Dead ass. Don't, don't go. If you fucking with a new bitch, don't show, all your, don't show her all your tricks the first time, my nigga. You shouldn't know that. Uh, what else I got for y'all? Oh, this is important. Y'all niggas got to know the slime slat test. My mom told me about this shit. Well, she ain't telling. I kind of learned it myself, but she told me about how to wipe your nose and shit. So, look, this is what you do. When you about to fuck with a bitch, bro, everybody know you, like, you know, kiss on her neck or you just kissing her in general. And you got to finger her at the same time, right? Or if you about to eat some pussy, you got to finger her because you got to warm that car up, my nigga. So, you're going to be fingering her and shit, right? So, when you put them fingers out, my nigga, you put them fingers in her mouth. You put it by her, her fucking mouth, my nigga. I like to put it by their nose and then, you know, they'll just suck my fingers because... If you ain't gonna, if you ain't gonna like taste your own juices, bitch, what makes you think I'm finna do it? So, you might be like, see, what about she just a freaky ass bitch and she just horny and she just feeling herself? This one, you gotta goddamn wipe your nose. You gotta hit with that wire, so you gotta hit with that slap. You gotta wipe your nose, my nigga. So, after she do that, you know, you go back down and you, I don't know how, I, I usually just go down or all dead ass just go down and wipe my nose real quick so I can smell that shit. If that shit got a little stench to it, my nigga, don't do it. I don't. I ain't never had a situation to where I had to, you know, where I, a bitch failed my slat slime test. Never. If you ever fuck with a bitch and she failed that test, nigga, get out of it. Don't even let her suck your dick, bro. Don't don't kiss on that bitch. Don't don't stick your dick in there. Don't do none of that, bro. She might be dirty. Hit her with that slat slime test. What else I got for y'all niggas? Uh, some of y'all niggas might have sex anxiety. Like I said. The best way to overcome that shit is to drink some ginger tea or you literally have to just if you on your purpose bro like you honestly just don't give a fuck bro like that's why i told y'all niggas to be on your purpose because i don't give a fuck about anything dog i'll be around the bitch i don't give a fuck i'll say whatever i want i'll do whatever i want you know i'll you know ask for permission of course but like i don't care bro like y'all just gotta stop thinking about what other people think like nigga if you there bro she already giving you the pussy bro don't be overthinking bro like you know put your dignity and just hit her hit her with the quan hit just hit the quan on her, you know what i'm saying don't be worrying about too much. Y'all niggas might be like, what about my dick too small? Bro, don't worry about that shit, bro. Like, if your dick small, I ain't never heard a bitch say my dick small. But if your dick small, my nigga, you might have to put in a little more tongue action or some finger play or some shit. I don't know. I ain't never had that problem. Um, Foreplay, you got to do foreplay, my nigga. You got to, you know, kiss on her neck. You know, before you want to do foreplay because you don't want the pussy to be dry. If the pussy is dry, like she's not wet, wet, like she's not wet, it's not gonna be enjoyable for you or her. So you gotta like kiss on her neck, you know, like if you if like if you fucking with this girl, you know, kiss on her, like you know, suck on her lip, bite on her lip and shit. You know, like you gotta be talking to her, all that shit. Uh, you know, kiss her thighs, you know, rub her down, kiss her, you know, kiss her from her neck all the way down, eat, eat her pussy, you know what I'm saying? That's some grown man shit though. Some of y'all niggas may be like, I'm not eating no pussy, bro. You. You're gonna end up eating some pussy eventually, bro. 
I got I, I got y'all niggas on how to eat the pussy too. My mom taught me how to eat pussy. I got y'all niggas. But uh, what else? Oh, this is when you fucking bitch. So it's like three positions I go by. You got missionary. And that's when they. Well, that's when you on top. And then what they call that shit? Uh, basically when the girl gun when she riding your dick, so she on the top. And then you got hitting it from the back. That's the doggy style shit. I said just hitting it from the back of back shots. Now, after you done hit that shit from the back, and you know you got your shit going. Yeah, I say let her get on top first. Let her get on top first because when you let like when the bitch get on top, cause she knows her spots. So if she get on top and she start leaning towards you, she's trying to she's like finding her spots. So like, you know, let her do the work. If she get on top, you let her do all the work because she know her spots. So that'll mean that you know she can find her spots. She can you know come and all that shit. But also if you want if you really want a bitch to come, you gonna have to eat the pussy, bro. You gonna have to eat that pussy. Oh God, or you I don't know, bro. I, you gotta you gotta engage in that clitoris. You know what I'm saying? You gotta engage in that clitoris. So if you want a bitch to come. But uh make sure she get on top. And uh Yeah, bro. Make sure she get on top. If she lean towards you, she trying to find that G she telling you where that G spot is. She telling you where that spot is. A bitch know her body, bro. I'm gonna tell you that. Make sure when you killing her shit, bro, like when you killing her shit, make sure you talk to her now. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not gonna say I had a problem with this, but it's just like if I ain't feeling your shit, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be sitting here acting, bro. I'm not. The only time I really fake some shit is when I'm getting some top, and that's because I don't want her to feel bad. So I'll be like, damn, like, damn, like, damn, like, you know, I'll be saying some shit like that. But like, some bitches that'll be, you know, some bitches know if if I'm feeling you, gonna know. I'm gonna let you know I'm feeling your shit. But other than that, when you fucking the bitch, you gotta be talking to her, like, cause that. That shit gonna turn you and her on, bro. If you in, if, if you in that pussy and that shit wet, you talk, you start talking your shit to her. You know, you start. If you get her pussy, be like, you taste. So I'm not finna tell y'all niggas what this. I just be freestyling shit. But like, like I said, bro. If you don't fake it though, cause I, if I'm fucking the bitch and I'm not really feeling her shit, I'm not gonna be talking. I'm not gonna hold you. I might just, I might even fake the nut. It's been some times where I fucked the bitch, and I wasn't really feeling her. Like she was wet, but I wasn't really feeling her shit, so I wasn't saying nothing. And I faked the nut. I was like. I was just, I'm done. Like, I was just, I was, I was, irri- I wasn't even irritated. I just, didn't, I didn't feel like hitting that shit no more, bro. Because that shit wasn't hitting to me. So I just, I, hey, it is what it is. Now y'all niggas got this. <clears throat> like I told y'all, she got to be wet, bro. The wetter she is, the more enjoyable it is for you, bro. I promise you. I promise you. Oh, and y'all niggas got to wear them condoms, bro. Now y'all may say, see, so you mean to tell me you ain't never hit a bitch raw? I hit two girls raw out of my whole entire life. And I, the thing with them is, I knew one of them for three years, and then I knew the other one for like ten years, bro. The other girl, the girl that I knew for like ten years, I knew her when I lived in Jersey, and me and her always kept in contact. You know what I'm saying? I just hit that shit last week, but uh, yeah, bro. Make sure y'all niggas wearing them condoms, and both of them be on birth control too. And I know they clean, and I'm clean, so that's if you feel like a bitch, dirty, bro. The only I'm gonna be 100 with you. You should only wear a condom so you don't get her pregnant. Now, if you wearing the condom, if she on birth control, you wearing the condom because you feel like she got an STD. Why are you fucking her? If a bitch got an STD or you feel like she got an STD, why are you why are you fucking with her, bro? Why are you why are you putting yourself at a risk like that to where you'll never like? Don't be dumb, bro. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Only way I'm gonna fuck a bitch if I knew her long enough and like I trust her and like I know she clean and I'm clean. And if she on birth control, simple. And I still pull out when they on birth control. Now look. Some of y'all niggas may be virgins and y'all may be feeling like when you getting in that pussy for the first time, you may want to be her. You might want to like pound her shit like a <laughs> bro. You can't do that shit. It's not porn, bro. They don't like that shit because you'll, you know, you'll fuck that shit up. This is how you got to hit them with them deep, long strokes, bro. And if you hit it with deep, long strokes, you won't nut as fast. Trust me. You hit it with them deep, long strokes and you talk to her and you look into her soul, bro. She gonna fucking go crazy. I'm telling you, you got to hit it with them deep, long strokes, my nigga. So you want to hear like. But like deep, long strokes, bruh. Deep, not no, not like, not no choppy short strokes, but don't be doing that porno shit. I mean, I guess it's good to do like one. If she real wet, hit her, hit her, hit her like that for a little bit. Not, not too long though. Maybe like, like 15, 20 seconds or some shit. Cause you, like I said, you know, a lot of bitches, they be liking that, you know, that, that passion, like that passion type sex, like that love sex. So you got hit with them deep, long strokes. Y'all niggas gotta wear them condoms. If you if you scared to ask your parents for condoms, I don't know what to tell you. My mom, she gave me my condoms when I was like in ninth grade or some shit. I didn't even ask. She just gave them to me. <clears throat> but if you feel don't feel comfortable asking them for condoms, you can go to like a clinic or some shit and they'll get you uh, some condoms. Make sure y'all niggas be getting tested too. 
even like if you kiss the girl or like she sucks your dick or some shit make sure you get your shit tested i get tested like every two weeks so uh i mean the testing be free my nigga go to a clinic get your shit tested you don't want to be out here risking shit you don't want to be out here passing disease you don't want to be fucking with bitches that got diseases and it's better to catch that shit before you know it's too late i ain't never got in a situation where i had a std bro no. bro i'm telling you bro don't be out here going crazy bro but know who you be fucking with <clears throat> How long should you last? Y'all niggas be thinking y'all supposed to be lasting for like an hour. It depends, bro. It honestly depends. Now, if you include a foreplay, it's probably going to be... I'll say sex should be like 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes. If you're a virgin, that shit's going to be like two minutes. It depends. Now, if you hit her with foreplay, you make sure she's straight. Now, you know, you fingering her and you making sure she her car warmed up. You'll be straight. You, you, you can hit her. You can hit her in the last 30 seconds probably. But, uh... Yeah, bro. Sex should... Sex shouldn't even be that long, bro. Sex should be like actual sex should be like 15, 10 minutes. That's about a good time. Then you hit her with you, both of y'all do y'all for a place. So she should be sucking your dick and you should be eating her out. You should be fingering her and kissing on her. That should be like another 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. And then y'all niggas gotta stop watching porn, bro. Y'all have to stop watching that porn shit because y'all niggas gonna get that's that that's also where social that uh sex anxiety come from. Y'all niggas be thinking y'all niggas motherfucking man dingo or some shit and y'all niggas is not. Y'all be expecting that shit to be like how it is in porn when in reality that shit is not like how it is in porn but them motherfuckers be acting like hell now after you fuck a bitch or get your dick sucked you always gotta piss afterwards i don't know why they say this shit i think it's because you don't get no like like a, a uti or some shit but i just do that shit just like i don't know it's a habit bro my grand my og told me that shit so he was like every, every time after you do some shit with a girl make sure you piss right after i don't know why he's, i never asked him why but i always did it uh what else i got for y'all niggas i don't want to forget nothing Oh, bro, this for y'all niggas. <clears throat> now, it's gonna be some girls you fuck and they quick nuts. A quick nut is when you literally, it's all about yourself. So, like, when I hit a quick nut, I'll fuck a bitch from the back and, like, I'll literally, like, get my nut and then, like, she's gone. Or she'll suck my dick and I hit from the back and she's gone. You got quick nuts and then you got, like, passion, like, love sex. So, love sex is when, you know, you foreplaying with her and shit. Quick nuts is like, it's like, fuck is You may kiss on her neck, you know, finger her a little bit so she could be wet so you can like hear her shit from the back or whatever. But usually quick nuts, they be the bitch that you don't want to look at. I ain't really have a lot of quick nuts or it'll, maybe it'll be sometimes like if I, honestly, if I'm fucking the bitch that's a quick nut, I'll honestly just get my dick sucked because I'm a nut regardless if the shit right. But uh, yeah, bro, that's about it, my nigga. There's really not that much to it. Y'all niggas can easily lose your virginity, but it's all about how you approach, like, it's all about how you dive into that shit, because you could really think you about to go slaughter a bitch shit, and you might go limp dick, bro. It happened to the best. Oh! And the hole is lower than you think. I cannot believe I forgot that shit. The hole is lower than you think, bro. Don't be that one nigga sticking your dick into the clip, and it's, it's like, you like, nigga, where the hole at, bro? It's lower. It's lower, bro. You sticking your dick into her clit. That's not, that's not the, like, the actual, the vagina hole, bro. You got to go a little bit lower, bro. Now, the the, uh, the the vagina, I think it's going to be a little bit lower. But if you're hitting it from the back, the butthole going to be at the top. And then the vagina going to be right under that. So, it's two holes that you guys got to keep in mind. Then you got the vagina. That's going to be towards, like, the front. That, the, like, the clit. Now, look. If you made it to the end of this video, bro, this is for you niggas that's trying to eat pussy. This is y'all niggas may be thinking I'm crazy because I asked my mom how to eat pussy. That's the story time I got from when the first time I ate some pussy. Now, my mom she told me how to eat the. She told me I mean she ain't teeth, but she told me what to do. That shit comes with experience. So, my mom I'm gonna tell you the, the tips that my mom told me that you know got me right. So my mom always said you know make sure you test like you know wipe like you gotta hit it with the sniff test. But I told y'all niggas do the, the slap slime test. You know I told y'all niggas what to do. Now, when you fucking with a bitch, you, before you eat her pussy, you got to, like, do the foreplay. Like, you got to get that shit a little bit wet. Don't be trying to go into some pussy just dry. Like, don't be trying to go eat her pussy while that shit dry. You got to warm her up, bro. You have to get the bitch wet, bro, because it'll be easier for you to, like, eat her out, bro. I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you, bro. You, everything with a girl, you have to get away. If you don't know how to get a girl wet, bro, everything with her is mental. You start with that seduction and shit, you know, look into her eyes while you're eating her, you know, you're talking shit. So, she told me where the G spot is. I think she says, like... I can't really explain that shit, bro. But when you fingering the bitch, like, Philip, try to find this. She told me to find the pearl. She says towards the top. She said try to find the pearl. It's not in the. It's not in the vagina. It's in. It's like the clip. You gotta like, you know, find a little pearl. It's like a little ball. When you find that shit, bro, that's her. You know, just work on that, bro. Don't be. Don't bite her pussy. Don't use your teeth. Just straight tongue action, bro. Straight tongue and fingers. Now you wanna like when you when you eat the bitch out, bro. 
and you see she like her car on her, like she wet and her toes curling and shit. Then you gotta stick your fingers and you gotta finger her at the same time. Now this some OG shit, bro. When you eat her pussy, and say if you you know you looking on that pearl and you finger her at the same time, what you think she finna do, my nigga? You tell you tell me what you think she finna do. Now if you eating the bitch out and you ain't really and you like insecure eating her shit out. I mean, I don't even be insecure, but it's just good to know, like, if you fucking with a bitch, like, the main goal is to please her, because if you please her, cause she gonna want to please the fuck out of you, so you want to please her, so you talk to be like, baby, like, where you like it at, so shit, be like, be like, you like that, and like, be like, where you like it at, bro, you gotta, you know, communication is key in sex, bro, I'm not gonna hold you, don't be, you gotta have that communication with her, so you can know her, so you can learn her body, because she's learning you, and you learning her, so you gotta, you know, do that, uh, what else she told me? Uh, it's a whole bunch of shit she told me But she said uh, The main point is Yeah that was about it Oh Bro when you eat the pussy bro You don't really have to like You don't really have to do a lot bro Cause it's so The pussy is so sensitive bro Especially the clip It's so sensitive Like it's literally just tongue like You can just like yeah. <laughs> Bro like you could like Finger her Like finger her pussy with your tongue Like you, like, like With the tip of your tongue Like just go crazy with that shit but don't be doing too much now. You don't want to be spitting on her pussy, but like you want to naturally let the juices come out your mouth. Like naturally let the saliva come out your mouth. Don't be ah, like spitting on her shit. Like when you eat her out, like like you know she's wet, so like naturally let them juices come out your mouth and shit. Don't be swallowing that shit. Uh, just let it, let your saliva flow into her pussy and like you know don't be spitting into her shit though, but let it naturally flow out and then it'll be you know you eat that shit. And then while you you know finding that G spot, which is the little pearl I told y'all niggas about, you want to finger her at the same time. And then, even if you're not doing that shit, you know, grab her titties or some shit, you know. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Grab her titties or some shit. You want to always be holding on to something when you're eating a bitch out. You know, you know, you want to make her, you want to make her feel like she, like, like, you want to make her submissive. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I, I can really tell y'all niggas what to do, but it's like, it's not, you're not really going to know what to do unless you do it. So, if you don't plan on eating a bitch out, then this shit ain't for you. But if you, you might find the right one and it's like, damn, bro, like, I need to, she deserved to get her pussy ate. That shit's gonna come with experience, bro. You're gonna get better and better every time. I ain't saying I eat every bitch out, but I... How many bitches out here? I eat like three bitches out. And, uh, yeah. Now I ate like three or four. Yeah, I ate four bitches out. But, uh, I don't be eating every bitch out. And, like, bro, it's... It's 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 key. Like, if you really want both of y'all to enjoy your sex, bro, like, you really fuck with them, you gotta eat that shit. I'm not saying you have to, but if you want a bitch to come, you're gonna have to eat the pussy. You're gonna have to engage that clip. But uh, this video is a little bit too long. It's like 20 minutes, but this is 20 minutes of pure knowledge, bro. 20 minutes of pure knowledge, and I still left a little bit of shit out. If y'all niggas got questions, y'all can DM me on Instagram or some shit, or Twitter, or Snapchat. I'm not going to show y'all information at all, but I might answer y'all questions. I might throw it in the video so I can so you know I can help other people out. But uh, without further ado, make sure you like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and all that other shit. Gang, I'm out.